हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ फजल यू आर वॉचिंग एम एफ ए सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बोट स्टैंड फॉर बिल्ड ऑपरेट एंड ट्रांसफर इट इज़ अ बिल्ड ऑपरेट एंड ट्रांसफर स्कीम इट इज़ अ कंस्ट्रक्शुअल एग्रीमेंट वेर द कॉन्ट्रेक्टर अंडरटेक द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंक्लूडिंग फाइनेंसिंग ऑफ अ गिवन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फैसिलिटी एंड द ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ इट द कॉन्ट्रेक्टर ऑपरेट्स द फैसिलिटी ओवर अ फिक्स टर्म ड्यूरिंग विच इट इज़ अलाउड टू चार्ज फैसिलिटी यूजर्स एप्रोप्रिएट टोल्स फीस और रेंट्स विच आर सफिशेंट टू इनेबल द कॉन्ट्रेक्टर टू रिकवर इट्स ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस एक्सपेंसिस एंड इट्स इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द प्रोजेक्ट प्लस अ रीजनेबल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न द कॉन्ट्रेक्टर ट्रांसफर द फैसिलिटी टू अ गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज और द लोकल गवर्नमेंट यूनिट कंसर्न एट द एंड ऑफ द फिक्स टर्म विच शल नॉट एक्सीड फिफ्टी ईयर बाय द लॉ बोट इज नेसेसरी फॉर द हाईवे प्रोजेक्ट्स एज वी नो हाईवे प्ले अ वाइटल रोल इन द ग्रोथ ऑफ द नेशन एंड हैंस इट इज नीडफुल टू कंस्ट्रक्ट द हाईवे इन अ लार्ज स्केल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड अ लॉट ऑफ फंड्स फॉर द फंडिंग पर्पज बोट स्कीम्स आर एडोप्टेड इन विच द रोल ऑफ द प्राइवेट सेक्टर इज द प्राइमरी इंपॉर्टेंट In short, private resources are implemented for the highway construction for a nation growth. For maintaining discipline, government has introduced an act named as Republic Act Number no. Six Nine Five Seven for authorizing the financing, construction, operation, and maintenance of the infrastructure project by the private sector, and for the other purpose of nation growth. under this act there are seven number of the sections like declaration of policies definitions and terms private initiative in infrastructure priority projects public bidding of projects repayment schemes and contract it termination and adjustment section 1 is the declare policy of the state to recognize the indispensable role of the private sector as the main engine for the nation growth and the development and provide the most appropriate favorable incentive to mobilize private resources for the purpose section 2 is the build operate and transfer scheme this scheme is operated by the government itself The provision of the private finance is made under the section three. In a section four, contractors have to include the priority projects that may be financed, constructed, operated, and maintained. After approval of project mentioned in the section four, the head of infrastructure agency or the government unit shall form with cause to be published once. every week for three consecutive weeks in at least one local newspaper the lowest complying bidding is awarded in section 6 the investment is recovered by tolls fees rental and charge for a fixed term as proposed in a bid but in no case shall this term exceed 50 year in case a project is revoked cancelled terminated by the government without any fault of the contractor or by mutual agreement then the government shall compensate the contractor for its actual expenses spent in the project plus reasonable rate of return not exceeding which is stated in the bidding document and in the contract as the date of such revocation cancellation or the termination cost of insurance coverage shall be included in the term and condition of the bidding the tolls fees rents and charges on the facility are subjected to adjustment according to the formula related to the official government pricing indices which shall be defined before bidding through the bidding document and incorporated in the contract other section include toll regulatory board project supervision implementing rule and regulation repeating clause 
separability clause and effectivity are mentioned in the section 7